What's poppin' T Squad? It's your girl Keisha, and I'm here with tonight's All T All Shade Black Ink Crew Season 9, Episode 12 Review. First off, I just want to start off by thanking you guys for getting this channel up to almost 46,000 subscribers as you can see over the last month i have been working my butt off giving you all so much content and it is paying off i got over 3,000 new subscribers in the last month so thank you to all of the old t squad members and the new t squad members you all are welcome here i'm just so happy and elated almost at 50 the goal is to get to 100 before the year is over so keep on supporting keep on thumbsing up these videos keep on turning on your bell notifications so you know when my videos drop keep sharing them i just love you guys so much thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you. Okay, now let's get into tonight's review. So, sees his mama and his girlfriend, Suzette, are at the press conference. You know, um, he basically had a press conference on his IG Live where he went on there to discuss the situation between him and his baby mama, Crystal, and his daughter, Cheyenne sees before going up to speak he starts to doubt himself and wonders is he making the right decision Suzette you know gives him some encouragement and tells him you know don't have second thoughts and his mother says the same thing she was like don't doubt yourself I'm your mother I've never seen you do wrong by your daughter you've done everything for her and you know you got this and it was really good to see his mama be there for him because he said that his mother just had a brain injury she cannot even fly or take a train so she had to drive 20 hours from i think florida to come there and support him um which was really really sweet or whatever and i feel sorry for c's in a sense because he is stuck between a rock and a hard place when it comes to the situation with him and crystal and his daughter um because crystal has been a terror since we've seen them on season one and i feel like she's going even harder because he did not want her when she tried to get him back um but i also feel like sees needs to understand that him staying with a woman that got on social media and dogged his daughter is not a good look especially when you are trying to build a relationship with your daughter once again the way Suzette went online and argued back and forth with that little girl was very telling of her maturity level who she is as a person and that she really don't give a fuck about your daughter that she would even go there because a grown woman wouldn't have even acknowledged that situation and the fact that you stayed with her says a lot about you as well and so that speaks to your daughter basically saying that my daddy chose this bitch over me and let this lady talk to me any kind of way even though the little girl was wrong you know what i'm saying but i would not be with suzette would not be with her at all that would have been a wrap a wrap as soon as that first post went up that bitch would have been cut the fuck off we would have been broken the fuck up bitch i don't even know you i don't want to see you ever in life again ho give me back the commission money you made off selling me this home nah bitch because if you talk about her like that what the fuck you gonna say about me like this is a part of me so if you disrespect my child like that shit you capable of anything so c's has to accept responsibility for himself on that end if he ever wants to repair the relationship between him and Cheyenne there's so many people that are involved in this situation that are in the wrong and everybody need counseling Ted however is not there to support him because he thinks this is some dumb shit and he thinks that his cousin is making a horrible decision Walt is looking really good he looks clean his face is shaven and lined up his hair is cut you know he looked like he took a bath looked like he put some shea butter on himself he's been you know steady doing him him and his wife are still together um you know he's been reaching out to C's, but C's has not responded he heard about the press conference so him and his wife are going to tune in he himself thinks that this is a horrible decision that C's is making so everyone gets online or they got their notifications to watch this 
press conference child the fact that it was a press conference <laughs> on ig live tickles the hell out of me the ghetto so C's lawyer gets up and speaks and C's gets up and speaks and basically lets everybody know that this is a lawsuit against Crystal. It has nothing to do with his daughter um, and that he's just basically tired of going back and forth with Crystal and that he's never harmed his daughter. He wants to have a relationship with her and everything he's done is for her. Ted says he looks like a jackass <laughs> and that he looks stupid. Walt is like this don't even look like him he looks scared he looked nervous like he wants to reach out to C's because he himself feels bad about the situation and um he also like i said felt like this wasn't the way to handle everything C's feels like however he had no choice but to do this because what else is he gonna do like his hands are basically tied behind his back and i'm going to give my opinions later on in this uh video about how i feel about the press conference so a few days have passed since the press conference and ted has been ignoring c's phone calls he will not answer he will not return his calls and of course c's is feeling some type of way because you stood me up you didn't you know come and support me you not answer my phone call like what type of time you want like you my cousin we business partners and this how you do me and i would have been feeling some type of way too because if you don't agree with what i'm doing that's one thing fine but just say that just don't not answer the fucking phone when i call you and not hit me back like and you know i'm over here stressed out going through shit as is like that was fucked up and he didn't handle that right at all so walt text sees to see if they can meet up sees thinking that it's ted reaching out to him and he's shocked that it's actually walton he wondered like how the fuck can a motherfucker i don't even fuck with like that no more hit me up but my own cousin can't like what type of shit is this so sees meets up with walt it's very very awkward intense like it's just not the way it used to be sees can barely look at him and he was like you know what you want to meet up with me for like what's good and Walt was like you know i just wanted to check up on you i saw the conference you just didn't look like yourself and i just wanted to see how you was doing and everything and sees goes on to tell walt that you know things have been hard like me and ted didn't fell out so uh when you hit me up you know I wanted to talk to somebody that I know and that, you know, I used to call my brother, like was one of my best friends. So that's why I came here today. He thought that he was coming there to get some type of support from Walt. But Walt gets to bringing up the whole robbery situation at the shop and saying that he did not rob the shop, that he did take money out of the register and had plans on paying it back. But he never got around to it. Things just snowballed. So basically, while he's sitting there going on and on and on and on about that situation, sees it sitting there on the couch opposite him on some charlie brown type shit because all he can hear is wah 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 he was like i thought this motherfucker came you know and wanted to talk to me to see how i was doing but he want to bring up this other shit like to clear his name this ain't even about me this is about him once again so he just feels like this is another betrayal it's another person that's just using him and he just feeling some type of way and i understood where c's was coming from but this is the sad part about money and fame is that when you get to the top you really see who fuck with you and you really see who got your back and who don't and people that you thought you know were in your corner will be one of the quickest people to honestly fuck you over and he's seeing the pitfalls of money and fame and it's sad to see so sees flash out tells walt like you hurt my feelings with what you did like and the fact that you basically sitting up here trying to justify the fact that you took money out of the register is like ridiculous you don't do no shit like that like first of all where is your money coming where is all your money going you have been on this show for almost how I many we on season nine so you have been on this show for nine seasons you're getting a nice little check for this show walt this don't make no damn sense so like are you on drugs it seems like it's that way it seems like you're on drugs and you smoking up all your goddamn money because where is your fucking money going that you have to steal money out the fucking register like what the hell like you these everybody that's around you got money you couldn't simply say hey let me hold a couple hundred dollars or whatever i'm paying you back but you shouldn't even be asking nobody to do nothing you getting money from this show you can do 
advertisements on social media making money like there is no fucking excuse bro no fucking excuse so the fact that you would even feel comfortable enough to steal from me i i'm i agree with c's i could never fuck with you like that again let a bitch steal from me that i call a friend steal from me bitch you will never see me ever again in life and so C's basically tells Walt like you know I don't hate you but it right now I just can't have you in my life because I can't keep on going back and forth with you we have been here 50 million times before but it's like this is unrepairable right now so he was like you can't be a part of black ink crew you know and I feel like that's what Walt wanted to know like am I officially fired from the show is this a wrap and he found out that it's a wrap you're not coming back it's a wrap for right now I feel like this is a good thing I feel like Walt needs tough love Walt needs to get himself together and become responsible become a husband become a fucking man first of all and C's in this show has been a crutch for him so I do feel like C's has to back away from him for him to either fall or to soar and hopefully he soars you know what I'm saying I don't want to see this man I heard bad but Walt got to get it the fuck together and hopefully in, in a few years or whatever they can circle back around like C's and Puma did because Puma had to go off and do his own thing and become who he he is for them to come back to be where they are now you know what i'm saying because he don't need seeds for nothing he got his own shop his own thing you know what i'm saying he don't have to depend on seeds for financial gain so hopefully in the future they can circle back and be friends again but i agree right now they just simply cannot be friends so tati has her barbecue in her house with her family and friends and the whole black and crew family come Puma pulls Rock and Spider to the side to talk to them about the altercation that they had and he explains to Rock that you know you have been fucking up here lately you got to take responsibility for that and then he also says to Spider you went too far throwing shit and all that like both of y'all tripping he and he says to rock like you gotta get crystal his girlfriend under control with her mouth because he got a wife with a spicy mouth and that's gonna get you fucked up out here in this world trying to stick up for this bitch and her goddamn mouth <laughs> and spider admits that you know he been going through some illness problems or whatever and that's why he was tweaking so they understand and say that, that you know they're gonna be there for him and rock and spider make up so Ted still ain't hit C's. It's been a few days now. C's, however, is at the barbecue. And he's like, if I ain't heard from him by tonight, I'm pulling up on that motherfucker. However, he is very uh, proud of Tati and happy of everything that she's accomplished and everything and he's really happy that he decided to give her another chance to prove herself which makes her feel bad after his speech so she pulls him to the side and tells him about the court case and surprisingly sees isn't even upset because i feel like at this point it's just like child i can't even get mad about shit no more at this point so he just tells her you know i've been there i'm gonna be there for you and we're gonna make it through this because like he said she don't need scolding right now she needs support and that's the guy's honest truth because i feel like tati is trying now i don't know if she was still on some type of time where she was still over here trying to do some dumb shit with some drugs or this some shit that stemmed from what happened two years ago i don't know that wasn't really made clear hopefully this was from the past and not nothing from the present because that would be absolutely stupid of her so c's goes out to jersey to see ted and he basically says that you know he felt betrayed that he you know played him like that ted apologizes for you know handling it the way that he did but makes it clear that he couldn't stand by his side while he had a press conference that he knows was going to directly affect Cheyenne which is his family too you know and he was like I want to be the person that can hopefully bridge the gap between you two at some point and I have to remain neutral and I want you to understand that and so C's was basically like you know well what am I supposed to do how can I stop Crystal without hurting Cheyenne if I defend myself I'm wrong if I live my life I'm wrong and that's some real true tea right there because from the public perception if he out here just doing him not you know making the effort to be a part of the little girl life then he'll be uh, considered a deadbeat daddy then if he tries to um 
defend himself when it comes to crystal then he's being a fucked up father so it's just like what does he do and i understand where he's coming from in that instance but like i said sees has to take responsibility for his role in the whole entire situation as well if he wants a relationship with cheyenne at some point so um because i know if i was cheyenne i would even if we were able to speak again i would still feel some type of way with you still having this lady in your life nah mm -mm, that wouldn't work for me but like i said i still do understand where seasons come from because crystal do need to be stopped and bitches like crystal do need to learn that you can't go around here saying and doing whatever you want to because you the baby mama and you bitter and you mad and you hurt that ain't right that ain't right and bitches like her need to be stopped they really honestly do because i really do believe that he does love cheyenne and has been a, a good father to that little girl so Ted, however, like I said, is adamant that he needs to remain neutral. Seizes on some, you know, well, who am I supposed to talk to if I can't talk to you? Like, you the closest person in my life. Like, all I want is some peace. I've been fighting with this girl for years. Like, I am tired. And Ted was like, shit, I know. I get it. I've been there. I've seen all of this. But we getting old, my nigga. Like, you getting gray hairs dealing with this shit. He was like, at the end of the day, we gonna figure this shit out, bro. And he was like, I try not to tell you nothing wrong when it come to your life. Like, I got you. And Seize and him dap it up and hug and say they love each other and sees at this point realizes that you know he do have people in his corner that fuck with him and love him and ain't trying to steer him down the wrong path so overall it was a really good episode with a lot of life lessons that needed to be learned um can't wait for next week's episode let me know what you thought about tonight's episode however down below in the comment section make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button thank you all again Again, for all of the love and support on the color me pink channel i can't say thank you enough so happy once we reach 50 000 subscribers i will be doing a designer bag giveaway as promised so let's get it to 50 000 so somebody can win a bag i'm so excited love you guys so much have a blessed week love you bye